Hi guys, welcome to another RGI Easy Sewing tutorial with myself, Avena Prince. And if this is the first time you're joining us, you need to know that this is a production from Royal Globe Inc where we train people in different vocational skills with a focus in garment construction. We have sewing classes at different levels for adults and we also have sewing classes for children. You can find out more information about us at our website royalgroupinc.com. The link is below, you can visit us there and we also have online sewing classes in case you want to register for that. It's, uh, without further delay, let's talk about today's production. Without, I know, right? <laughs> Without further delay, let's talk about today's tutorial. Some time ago, we did a tutorial on how to pleat and how to calculate the amount of fabric you will need to make a pleated skirt. Today, we want to show you how to calculate the amount of fabric you will need to make a straight skirt. So let's do this. Fabric comes in different measurements. You have 36 inches, 45, 60 inches, 90 inches, 120 inches. So there are different widths. When you go to the fabric store and you ask for a certain measurement, that width stays the same. However, they will measure out the amount of fabric that you want. So let us say you are working with, um, let us say the fabric that you like or the fabric that is suitable for what you want to make is 45 inches wide, then you're going to ask for a certain length in measurement. It could be a yard, two yards, three yards, four yards, whatever it is, and that is what they're going to cut out for you. Let's go to the board so I can give you some visuals. So we have 36 inches, 45 inches, 60, 120 and so forth and so on okay so let's work with our let's work with a little peak of a straight skirt and the hip or the waist is going to be the larger of the two measurements so the question here is how do we know what amount of fabric that we will need if our hip measurement is the larger measurement and if that measurement is 46 inches so stick with me, I'm going to show you how to calculate that. We have 46 inches being our wider measurement and according to the sewing allowance that you're working with, you're going to add that measurement to the hip measurement. So let us say you are working with a sewing allowance of one inch. Now keep in mind, your sewing allowance can be one inch or it can be half inch. I teach my students one inch because that makes provision in case there are errors where the skirt is too small then you don't have to start from scratch okay so if we are working with a sewing allowance of one inch remember on both the left side and the right side you are going to need one inch for both the front and the back of the skirt okay so we're going to need one inch on the right side one inch on the left side and then remember it's the back and the front that's going to be two inches on either side which means that's going to be a total of four inches once we have that if you are making a straight skirt that doesn't have any slit at the back basically you're going to need one inch that's one inch for the zipper also in allowance so so that's going to be one inch for either side that's going to be an additional two inches so that's six inches so that means that basically to construct that skirt we're going to need 46 plus 6 which brings us to 52 inches so we know that we need a total of 52 inches of fabric that's in width to make our straight skirt okay now let us break this down a little further into the amount for our front and the amount for the back so for the front, we're going to need 46 divided by 2 plus 2. So that is going to give us 25. And for the back, we're going to need 25 plus 2, which is 27. Okay? So um, if there is anything here so far that is not clear, please feel free so leave a comment below, leave your questions below. I would be more than happy to clarify for you. So we have our front at 25, we have the back at 27, and what we need is to ensure that both the back 
and the front can fit into what measurement can fit into whatever measurement of fabric that we have so let us say that the fabric that we like or the fabric that is suitable for the skirt we want to make is 36 inches wide now we can already see that yes we can get the front but we cannot get both the front and the back so let us get some length in here if the if our skirt is 25 inches including the allowance it means that we're going to need 25 inches as one piece of material and 27 as another piece so we're going to need two lengths of 25 inches to get the measurements that we need how do I know that 25 inches is going to go into 36 inches only once which means that there is no allowance for the 27 inches okay consequent to that we're going to need to get 25 plus 25 which is 50 plus an additional amount for the waistband so of course you calculate all of that and remember we're working with inches so to turn that to yardage you have to divide by 36 so if we're making a straight skirt and we are working with fabric that is 36 inches wide with this measurement, we're going to need two lengths of 25 inches, which would be a total of 50 inches, plus whatever measurement that you would need for your waistband. So let us assume you're going to need four inches for your waistband. So technically, you're going to need 54 inches of fabric if you are making this skirt using 36 inches width fabric, okay? So I trust that this is clear. I'm going to do another one. I'm leaving 45 for you to do. So calculate the same measurement using 45 inches. Leave your comments below. I will tell you if you are correct. If you have any difficulties, again, let me know so that I can clarify. Okay guys, here are some new measurements to work with. Pause the video, answer the question, and leave your answer in the comment section below. If we are working with 90 inches this is a large number so if we're working with 90 inches we definitely know that 52 inches can go into 90 inches without any difficulty so in this case if our fabric is 25 inches wide we are not going to need two pieces as we did for 36 we're going to need only one measurement in our length so in this case we will need only 25 inches plus our waistband measurement so in an instance where we are working with 90 inch fabric we will only need 29 inches in length okay it's always wise to buy some extra material in case you encounter any errors or any difficulties while you are working and of course that is at your discretion so folks this is how you calculate the amount of fabric that you will need to make a straight skirt and of course if this video has been helpful to you kindly like and subscribe because it will help our video to go a long way thank you guys bye and we provide sewing classes and we provide and we provide classes and we provide garment construction classes the garment manufacturing and um, and vocational. Thank you.